Hello, this is Brad, and I am with Mid-Continent Public Library. Today, I am going to show you how to access free ebooks from the library on your Amazon Fire tablet. The library has a collection of over 100,000 different titles that you can read from your mobile device for free. Now, to access these ebooks, the library works with Overdrive. So in order to get these books on your device, you need to go through Overdrive. This can be done by going through their website or their very popular mobile app called Libby. Today, we are looking at Amazon Fire tablets. On Libby by Overdrive's website, they list out all the specific Fire tablets that can utilize the Libby app. So all of these devices listed over here, they should have the Libby by Overdrive app available for download in their Amazon App Store. So in order to read eBooks, you could just go to your App Store, download the Libby app for free, and read all of these eBooks. You would just need to make sure that your device is on this list of compatible devices. However, some Amazon Fire tablets are not able to download the Libby app. Even if your device is not on this list, you can still enjoy free eBooks from the library. There is just going to be an extra step. So we are going to access the library's collection by going through Libby or Overdrive. And the additional step is we are going to involve our Amazon account. This is so we can get the eBooks into the Kindle app so that we can read them. So, in order to read on a device that cannot support the Libby app, we just have this additional step. And that is what I am going to be showing you today. Now, in order to do this, you are going to need your Mid-Continent Public Library card. There is a big, long number on the back of your card. And then you are also going to need to know your Amazon account information, your email and your password. And this specifically needs to be the Amazon account that is associated with your Fire tablet. That is going to be very important that you are accessing the account that is connected to your tablet. If you do not know which model of Fire tablet you have, you can find that out by going to the settings area of your Amazon Fire tablet. That is represented by this gray gear icon. So if we go ahead and tap on that, and then within our settings area, we are looking for device options. Depending on the type of Amazon Fire tablet you have, this might be somewhere different on your screen. Just scroll down until you see an area that says device options. And then within device options, scroll down until you see the device model information. I can see from this that I have a Fire 7, 7th generation, and this is where it can get a little bit confusing. So on this list of devices, I do see a Fire 7. However, it has to be from the year 2022. And I happen to know that my Fire 7 is older than that. And so it is very likely that I will not be able to use the Libby app on my device. It does not list the year on this page. And so another way to check is just by going to your Amazon App Store and seeing if you have the Libby app in there. I'm going to go back. Before we go to the App Store, let's make sure we are connected to Wi-Fi. So let's tap wireless and Bluetooth settings here. And then I will tap this first option, Wi-Fi because in order to use the App Store, I need to be connected to the internet. If I was trying to connect at the library, I would select Library Guest from this list of options. I can also access Wi-Fi settings from swiping down from the top of my screen. No matter where I am at, I can always access my Wi-Fi settings here. I simply tap this Wi-Fi icon right here, and it will bring up the different Wi-Fi connections I have available. I would select Library Guest if I was at a library. I'm going to go back to my home screen. And then once I am connected to the internet, 
I am ready to check my Amazon App Store. So I will tap on the App Store right here. And then I am going to look for the Libby app. I will tap the magnifying glass in the top right corner. And we are going to do a search for Libby by Overdrive to see if this app is available on my specific Fire model. Here are my results. I don't see it on this first page. It would be that maroon and teal icon that I would be looking for here. Even if I scroll down on this page, I am not going to see it. And this is a pretty surefire way to know whether or not your device can access the Libby app. I don't have it, so I am going to be accessing eBooks through that second method where we go through Overdrive and then our Amazon account in order to get the books on our device. I'm going to go back to my home screen. So in order to do this, I'm going to use our Silk browser. This is our web browser. So on your computer, you might use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Silk browser is just a way to navigate the internet on your device. And we are going to use that to access the Libby app website. And then we are going to send our eBooks to our Kindle app that we see right here. And that is what we are going to read our eBooks through. When we are using this method, just imagine Libby and Overdrive as the shelves where we look for the books that we want to read. And once we have selected something we want to read, we are going to take them over to the Kindle app to read them. The Kindle app is kind of our cozy chair where we want to read, whereas Libby is kind of where we just do our searching for things. And if you don't want to do these steps through the Silk browser on your tablet, that is perfectly all right. You can actually do this on your computer because we are going through your Amazon account. It doesn't matter where we do this at. Because your account is linked to your device, we can do this on our computer. We could also do it on a smartphone as well. We could download the Libby app, and then once we are done browsing for a book, just make sure that it gets sent to our Kindle app on our Fire tablet. Okay, so we're back on our Fire tablet. So let's go ahead and open up our Silk browser. And I am going to tap in the address bar and enter libbyapp.com. And then once I am taken to the website, I am going to need to answer a series of questions. The first one being, do you have a library card? I do, so I'm going to select yes. And then we need to tell them which library we have a card for. You can do this in a number of ways. I am going to select search for a library. And then in this box, I could enter the library name, a city or a zip code that is within the library's district. I find a zip code to be the simplest, so I'm going to put in a zip code that I know is connected to the library service district. And here on my search results, I need to scroll down a little bit, but there I see Midcontinent Public Library Withers Branch. Now I do need to select Midcontinent Public Library. However, it does not matter which branch I select. Each branch has access to the same digital collection. And then I will need to enter my library card number. So I will tap sign in with my card. And now I would need to get out my library card, look at that big long number on the back, and enter it into this box. And I would tap sign in once I get that library card number entered. And I really want to make sure to answer this next question. Yes, I read with Kindle. This is going to allow this website to talk with Kindle so that the books can be sent to your Kindle app on your Fire tablet. I am ready to search for a book and send it to my Kindle app. Depending on how you are holding this, you may see a menu like this at the bottom of your screen. We are needing to tap the magnifying glass to do a search. Since I am holding mine in this landscape orientation, I need to tap this little button first, and then I will be given those same options. I am going to tap search to begin looking for a book. 
Ebooks are available in multiple formats, and there is a specific Kindle format that we need to utilize. If we do not use Kindle format, they might not work within the Kindle app. I want to tap this Kindle filter right here. That is going to filter out any books that are not in the Kindle format. So I could look through this page. All of these books are only available in the Kindle format. Now, if I want to do a search, I can pin this Kindle filter. So I would tap on Kindle right here. And then I would tap pin filter. And now when I search, it will filter to only show me books available in Kindle format. So I'm going to tap in my search bar and let's look for Mark Twain, famous Missourian author. And now our results are only showing us books available in the Kindle ebook format. If I had not pinned the Kindle filter, I could go to my three line menu. This is my sort and filter menu. And if I scroll down, I can see where it says read with. I just select Kindle right there. And then it will filter all of my books to only show me those available in Kindle. And then I would tap show titles. Okay, and I can see that my results are filtered to only show ebooks available in Kindle format. That's what this purple tag tells me. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. And as an example, I am going to check out this copy of A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. I will tap the borrow button and I will be taken to the borrowing screen. If I scroll down a little bit, I can see some details. I can see when this is going to be due in 21 days. And to check the book out, I will select the maroon borrow button. And to open the book, I will select this top option, open book. And now it is going to open another tab. We are going to be directed to our Amazon account. We are in this portion of our process. We have gone through Libby to find our book. Now we need to go through our Amazon account to send this book to our tablet so that we can read it through the Kindle app. I will need to enter my Amazon account information if I am not already logged in and my Amazon password as well, and then go ahead and tap sign in. And I should see this button that says get library book. I will go ahead and tap on that. And then it should send the book to my Kindle app. And here it lets me know that this has been sent to my Kindle app. It lets me know when the loan expires. And I can tap this button to open it in the Kindle app. If I was somehow back on my home page, I could also tap the Kindle app icon right here. And now we are going to read our book through the Kindle app. So we are done with this browsing that we did through Libby by Overdrive, and we are going to the Kindle app to read it. Okay, so once the Kindle app opens up, we should see our book right here. If I did not see it, the first thing I would try is swiping down from the top. That will refresh the app. I do need to download it to the app, so I would go ahead and tap on it to start downloading the book. And once it is fully downloaded, I will see a check mark letting me know it is available in the Kindle app. And so to begin reading it, I can just tap on the book and I can read just like I would any book within my Kindle app. I am not going to spend too much time talking about how to read on the Kindle app today. I'm going to go back to the main screen of my Kindle app, and I could also access these through my library. They should be available there as well. I'm going to go back to my home screen, so we are briefly going to go back to the Libby app website. I'm going to show you how you can manage the books that you have checked out. And then I will show you how to manage through your Amazon account. Because we have this multi-step process where we go through Overdrive and our Amazon account, we have to go in and manually remove a book from both Libby 
and the Amazon account. While we are in our Amazon account, I will show you how you can look to see the devices that you have set up on your account and how you can manage those as well. So let's go ahead and go back to our Silk browser and we are going back to the libbyapp.com website. And then now we are going to access our shelf. If I tap on this little icon, I should see two stacked books that represent our shelf. This is going to allow us to see everything we have checked out. There is our book. I have the option to open it with Kindle. It tells me when it is due. And if I want to manage the loan, I can tap this button right here. And on this page, I could return the book early if I wanted to. Ebooks are returned automatically on their due dates. They don't accrue fines. So you do not have to return them manually. I'm just showing you how to do that. If I want to renew the book, if it was approaching the due date and there were no holds, I could do that from this screen as well. I am now going to open another tab and go to Amazon.com. Once I am there, I am going to tap the account icon in the top right corner. You're going to need to scroll down a bit. We are looking for devices. I have to select see all account information because of the way I am holding my device. And I'm going to scroll down until I see devices. This is going to show me my Fire tablet. If I was doing this on a website on your computer, I probably wouldn't have to scroll as much. I would just see devices right there. Here I am on my devices page. If I scroll down, I see my Fire tablet right here. I can tap on it and it will show me my Amazon Fire tablet. And if I want to look at it, I can tap right here. And then I have settings available over here. If I needed to troubleshoot something with my device, more actions gives me some other options. If I want to view device content, I can do that from here. This will show me the things I have checked out to my device. And if I scroll down, I should see the book that I have checked out. And if I returned the book through Libby and it was still showing up, I could go to my Amazon account and select return this book. So that's how you can remove it through your Amazon account. And this is how we can use our Amazon Fire tablet to check out eBooks from the library. Using the Libby app is definitely handy, but if we cannot, we can see that there are ways around it and we can still use our Amazon Fire tablet to enjoy eBooks from the library. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our YouTube channel where you can see all of our videos. Subscribe to our MCPLMO YouTube channel. This has been Brad. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.